So I just bought a new phone, the Google Pixel 6. It's supposed to be pretty good at video. So today I'm going to give it a test by making a vlog entirely with my phone. We'll try it out on Montreal's beautiful Rue Saint Denis. You ready for this? Let's go. The color looks good. Looks like that tree is popping pretty nicely. And yeah, so far pretty stable. I mean, I'm walking normally. Look at the architecture, isn't it nice? I love the old stone buildings on this street. There's actually something else I'm gonna try, which is the extra wide mode. Check this out. You see that? It switches from normal. There's also a 2X which is a zoom mode, which could be useful, but I think for better quality, you want to stay with the one or the 0.7. And for this kind of walking shot, the 0.7 could be nice. So let's try this for a bit. Give me a thumbs up for uh, <laughs> acting like a dork with my two cameras in public. But I, I think this footage will be worth it. I'm gonna stop and give you some selfie mode. When I switch to this, it's actually a different camera and it doesn't show that stabilization button anymore, so I have a feeling that this won't actually be stabilized. Let's switch back to the, uh, the other camera. If you actually wanna get nice shots out of it, this is the kind of shot that you should try just standing in one place and slowly panning. Actually, maybe I'll do a quick pan. I'll try and follow that car, okay? I think that footage is pretty good. But anything looks pretty good when you have Montreal looking like this, I mean. What a beautiful day. By the way, this place, as I switch to 2X, La Binary. That's a Quebecois restaurant, a place to try some French Canadian food if you're ever in the area. Friendly staff, huge portions, you will not leave hungry. Oh, and this is a Pakistani restaurant that also had good reviews. I've been meaning to try that one. I mean, what do you think of the footage so far? My first impression, I'm pretty impressed. Beautiful homes on the other side of St. Denis. See, now I've zoomed in two times and this is where I really prefer to have my bigger camera because this to me doesn't look that good. I think the 2X mode looks pretty fuzzy from what I can see. So let's switch back. Standard mode with the wide look. I think this is really nice. This is probably the best footage I've ever had out of a cell phone. Oh, and by the way, shout out to this place. This is a place called Dantech. I'm not stopping just because my name is Dan. Though I do think, though I do think they have a good name. I'm actually stopping because these guys helped me out a lot. I have a project coming up that I needed an old computer. I'm talking like a computer that's over 10 years old. Uh, it's a surprise project, I can't tell you about it yet, but you'll see it when it comes. And I explained the situation to them and they gave me one for free. Which was super nice of them, they didn't have to do that, but I, I said it was for a YouTube thing and they were, they were quite nice. And so yeah, if you ever need a computer repaired or something, check them out. Tell them Dan for the new travel sent you. <laughs> that would be cool. Calm down, bro. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Why do those cars always drive so fast? I, mean, I guess I did that when I was 16 years old, but... 
then I turned 17 or 18 and I quickly grew out of it. Some people never grow out of it. But yeah, of course, if I wanted to avoid that selfie camera, which I briefly showed you, which is not very good, you know, I could just turn the camera around like this. And so I should still have stabilization. Now I'm back to the selfie camera and hopefully you can see a difference. I think, I think there will be a difference. The only problem with doing it the other way <laughs> is the screen is facing out. <laughs> so I can't really see what I'm filming. I'll show you again. So I need to flip it around. I can't frame my shot as well. And also my screen is just facing out so people passing me are probably like, what is this guy doing? But such is life. All right, let's do a little side by side. We're gonna approach whatever that statue is, whatever that monument is, uh, with both cameras, okay? Action camera and new phone. Louis Francoeur, journalist. I mean, at least on my phone screen, uh, my phone footage just looks so much brighter. There's no comparison. I wonder if that's the action camera screen that's the issue or if the footage just really isn't that good. Anything else to show you? I think that was a pretty good phone test. Um, well, let me try the slow-mo. Something I don't use a lot, but slow motion can be interesting too. So I have quarter speed, eighth speed. Okay, let me try this really quick. Okay. Well, those Christmas lights are flashing like crazy. I don't like that. So maybe avoid lights if you're using the slow-mo. First impression, I would say acceptable. Uh, acceptable, you know. I would need something happening really quick to fully put that to the test. Huh, that sign says Rio. Oh, and now I wish I could zoom two times in, so... You know, at first I thought that 2x zoom was kind of a gimmick, but actually when you see something you want to focus on it can be quite useful to just punch in now you can see the Rio sign very clear but look at this beautiful Rue Saint Denis still looking pretty nice on this pixel phone I gotta tell you I gotta tell you it's it's actually impressing me there's one other mode called locked still mode where it just locks on an image that's far away for example, I'm locking right now on this at 5x, 5x zoom. And so even right now, like I'm moving. Oh, and then suddenly it loses it and it goes crazy, right? <laughs> so now the sun has well and truly set. So it's officially low light conditions. Uh, so I think I'll end the video here. Actually, you know, I'll show you one more thing. I'm about to buy a Vietnamese sandwich from a place I like. So I'll film as I walk inside, so you can see switching from the outdoor conditions to the inside conditions, how the camera does. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this walk down Rue Saint Denis. Some of you already know I'm gonna be traveling soon. I'm off to Guatemala in just a few days. This will be my last Montreal video for a while. But uh, yeah, I hope you'll, hope you'll join me for the next journey. And be sure to let me know what you think of this camera, okay? I'm talking audio, I'm talking video, stabilization. And even now with the low light, how is this? Is this usable in your opinion? Okay, now let's go get that sandwich.